Jazz Chisholm broke out in a major way in 2022. Despite only playing 60 games due to a plethora of injuries, he had career marks in almost every hitting category. After putting up a league average 97 WRC plus in 2021, Jazz posted a 139 WRC plus in 2022. The reason why he improved so much is because he barreled the ball up at a much higher rate. How was he able to do that? I have a theory. I believe his success was directly related to his stance. But first we have to go back to 2021 so that we can compare and contrast to his stance now. In April of 2021, Jazz was doing a toe tap and go type of timing mechanism. You can tell it's pretty exaggerated and he stays there for a bit before the pitch. Pretty much the same thing in May except he lifts his foot a little bit higher before toe tapping. In June, he still has the toe tap but it's a part of his load now. You can see he's still coiling back as his foot comes down. The main thing to look for here in May is that when he taps his toe against the ground, it stops his momentum. Whereas in June, it's all sort of one motion. So he doesn't have to start, stop, then start up again. In July, he kind of reverts back to this bad habit. And he continues to struggle as the season progresses. But in September, we see something really interesting. A foreshadowing of his stance in 2022, Jazz institutes a leg kick. But more importantly, he creates a consistent timing mechanism for himself. Something that will become the basis for his success in 2022. Fast forward to 2022, and we saw a couple different stance variations. The low leg kick, which you see here, and here. The no leg kick and the high leg kick. While all of these are slightly different, they contain one key similarity. There's no toe tap. He simplified his load into one smooth motion. Okay, so why does this matter? Number one, it helped him hit the ball in the air more. In 2022, he increased his fly ball percentage from 24 to 35%, and in turn decreased his ground ball percentage from 49% to 39 Obviously, you want to hit the ball in the air more. More fly balls means more extra base hits, which means more runs. The second thing his new stance allowed him to do was pull the ball more. Most of your power goes to your pull side, and for Jazz, it's clear that the majority of his run value comes from hits to his pull side. This is a good visual representation of the last two points that I was making. Hitting the ball in the air is good. Pulling the ball is good. But combining both of those things is even better. You can see from this graph that in the last two seasons, when Jazz hits a fly ball to his pole side, the average exit velocity off his bat is over 100 miles an hour. And you don't need me to tell you that the more of those he hits, the better off he'll be. So the way I understand this is a chain reaction of events. Jazz changes his stance, which allows him to be more consistent with his timing, which means he can catch the ball out in front more which means he can pull more pitches. And by catching the ball out in front, I mean hitting the ball before it crosses the plate. This image shows balls that were hit above 90 miles an hour and with a launch angle above 10 degrees. To boil it down, hitting the ball out in front allows you to generate maximum power in your swing. This is a great visual of Jazz doing exactly that. You'll notice that in 2021, he was letting curveballs and sliders break down into the zone, making it difficult to create hard contact against. But in 2022, he started catching the ball out in front more, before the pitch has a chance to break, resulting in much harder contact. Here are some examples of Jazz letting the ball get too deep. His load is restricting his ability to time up these pitches, and so it results in swing and miss or weak contact. Now contrast that to how he handled similar pitches in 2022. He's now able to utilize his elite bat speed in a way that he couldn't before. By starting his load early and being up on the pitcher's release, Jazz has unleashed the violent side of his swing. It is a glorious thing to watch and I can't wait to see how he builds off of his 2022 campaign. Nice protection behind it. How about Jazz? This one's to deep right and it's his second homer of the game. A grand slam and a two-run shot. A dozen for the Marlins.